<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and if you have a hard modded Xbox 360, meaning a JTAG, an RGH, anything similar, you might have run into the following issue here if you've ever tried an original Xbox game. You try and fire it up, and you run into an error kind of similar to that, and you're just not able to boot the game up. Well, this is caused by not having the proper emulator files for the original Xbox emulator on your hard drive. In this tutorial here, I'm going to be showing you all how you can resolve that and even how you can upgrade if you already have the files on here. Now, the cool thing is with these files, back in 2019, a gentleman by the name of Matthew LH actually ended up updating the already existing hacked backwards compatibility files meaning that at this point they have the latest April 2018 update on them. They now have the whitelist removed, which was there before, so that means any original Xbox game will boot on the Xbox 360. Now you're going to have varying levels of success with that. Some of them might work perfectly, some of them are just going to crash your system. This isn't a guaranteed method to get all of them to work, but there is no more whitelist on there. He also added in a few other cool things, most notably allowing the actual guide right here to be run while you're playing your original Xbox titles, which is quite cool. So what we're going to do is get those files. So even if you already have the modified backwards compatibility files, you might want to look into Matthew LH's. Some people might also question why I'm making a video on this when I had made one last year in regards to this entire topic. That was more just talking about the history and how awesome that was. And if you want to see a video not really covering the install in depth, then you can check that out. I am happy with that video. This video is really only going to focus on the install itself. So with that, for the actual install, we're going to need a few things. We'll need our hard modded Xbox 360. We're going to need a hard drive, an internal hard drive for the Xbox 360 already installed, an original Xbox game of your choice, and preferably a USB flash drive so we can transfer some files from our computer over to the Xbox 360. With all that being said, let's go ahead and move over to our PC with a USB drive in hand. The link for this page is going to be linked down below in the description of this video, and it's quite simple to do. There's two things you need to download. The first is going to be the hard drive compatibility partition fixer, and the second thing is going to be the hacked compatibility files. These are just going to be two zip files that you'll need to extract. Now you should have these two zip files, and with your favorite extraction software or whatever is provided, you can just right click and extract each of these into their own separate folder. So I'm going to do that for the both of these here. And now we need to copy these over to our USB drive. Your USB drive must be FAT32 in file system, so if it is not FAT32, you'll need to back up whatever you care about off of this drive and format it accordingly. Formatting is as simple as right clicking the drive, hit format, FAT32 file system, default allocation, quick format, start, hit OK, and after a few moments this should be complete. So there we go, our drive is now FAT32. However, let's say you go to format your drive and you're using a drive which is too large so you cannot select FAT32. Well, there's a few ways around it and at least on Windows I'll show you one way around this. The program I like to use is FAT32 format, otherwise known as GUI format. You can just click on the image here and download the exe file. Once you have it downloaded, find which drive letter you need to format, mine is H, and now grab GUI format, right click, run it as administrator. It will ask you for permissions on here, so say yes. Now make sure you have your drive letter selected, make sure you've closed out of any file explorer windows, quick format is fine, you can hit start, OK, and that's a second way of formatting your USB drive. So now with the hard part out of the way, we just need to grab both of these folders, copy them out, the ones we've extracted, and paste them directly into the USB drive. There's also a pretty good readme that comes alongside the hacked compatibility files right here, which I would recommend giving a brief read on because it gives some pretty good notes as to what's been patched, what this allows you to do, and all this other fun stuff right here. So give that a quick read if you'd like to. All right, so once these have been fully copied over, we can right click on our USB drive, eject it, 
and then remove our USB drive from our PC and take it over to the Xbox. All right, so once you're back over at the Xbox, make sure you have your USB drive plugged in. And at this point, you'll want to use whatever file explorer option that you have available and you're comfortable with. So it could be XEX menu, or it could be the default file browser in Freestyle 3, Freestyle Dash, or Aurora. I'm going to utilize Aurora for this. The first thing we need to do is navigate to our USB drive. So I'm going to go to the file explorer, USB drive shows up. There is our HDD compat fixer. So right here you launch the default XEX and wait. This is now going to format and partition your HDDX partition, which is necessary for the original Xbox backwards compatibility. This does not touch your HDD1 partition, so your save data, games, and all that should be safe, but just keep that warning in mind that there is some formatting that's happening here. Once you're okay with this, you can press the A button and wait. Now once that's all done, press the B button to exit. At this point, I would recommend completely powering down your Xbox 360 and rebooting it. Once your console restarts, we're going to need to again make sure we have our USB drive plugged in. Now open up your file manager of choice. I'm going to again be using Aurora for this. And you'll need to go into your USB 0, navigate to your modified compatibility files, and in here, you're going to have regular as well as HUD X game chat. I know there's also some updated builds which have the experimental builds for 64 megabyte and 128 megabytes. I would recommend going with the 64 megabyte ones and you can try 128 if you're feeling adventurous and you want to test a few things. Either way, regular is going to just be the plain modified files which are going to act exactly the same but have the whitelist on them and then HUD X Game Chat is, as described here, it's going to allow you to use the guide and it should enable Game Chat if you take it online. I have not tested that feature myself because I haven't gone online with them, but that implementation should be there. So what you'll need to do is pick whichever one you want. I'm going to go with the HUD X Game Chat because I do want the guide access and there is a compatibility folder right here that you need to copy out. So you can select this go and copy it. Now go into your system. We need to navigate over to HDDX and you're going to paste this into HDDX. Be very specific about this. You're not going to paste it into HDD1. It needs to be HDDX. You can say yes to this prompt and give it a few moments. Once that has copied out successfully, we can exit back out, and yet again, I would recommend rebooting your console one more time. Alright, so once we have our system rebooted a second time, the next thing to do would be to give this a test. So go ahead, grab your original Xbox game, and we're going to fire it up. Now I'm going to be using Splinter Cell for this, I have it on disc, and you all saw that I could not get it to boot up at all, but if we press the A button and launch it, we now have this lovely original Xbox screen that pops up. If we get a sign out that is expected because profiles aren't really set like that on the original Xbox games. But as you can see right here, the game is launching and working just fine. Something we were not able to see before. And speaking of things we could not see before, if you press the guide button while you're in game, oh, it's a little bit slow, but check this out. You now have access to the in-game guide, which you did not have before. If you have tried original Xbox games, you're not able to gain access to this full guide on the 360, but now we have it, which is a really awesome additional feature to have. So that's about it in regards to this. So there we go, it just took us a few minutes, but it is that simple to get original Xbox games back up and running on your hard modded Xbox 360. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. As I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.